Over the last four years, we've been able to build facilities like this beautiful park, um, add amenities like this communication board at the park, and also on all of our elementary school playgrounds. Um, look forward to building more inclusive opportunities for housing for our individuals with disabilities and also increase the number of employment um, opportunities for those with disabilities in our community. Three, two, one. Yay! Uh, Dr. Ball's um, uh, cooperation in this has really helped us with growing cricket in the county and not just in the county to the Maryland as well as, as nationally because in 2021 we were all when we were all coming out of uh, from the pandemic we hosted uh, a national youth cricket league in Howard County and uh, we had close to 94 teams youth teams came over all over from US and that wouldn't have been possible if we didn't have the, the support that we needed from the executive office. Today, I'm proud to reopen the Agricultural Land Preservation Program. Well, restarting the Ag Press Program allowed for the uh, acquisition of an easement on the Dickey Farm in Sykesville, which preserved over 130 acres in a perpetuity agricultural preservation easement, which will ensure they can continue to be farmed and uh, will continue to be uh, an integral part of the economic uh, component of agriculture here in Howard County. Two, one, Dr. Ball has attended every single one of our business openings, every single blowfish, every single new project. He's been along with me and supportive from the back end of go, 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 I'm always on your side, regardless of what position he holds. I want to see Howard County residents happy, healthy, and at ease. Everybody deserves a massage. Everybody deserves to feel good. The HOCO Hire program was instrumental for me, just learning how to scale my business to the next level, how to take the next step. It partnered us with a lot of professionals that were in business, people who are successful further along the entrepreneurial path than we are. And just incredible resource, and obviously being able to win and, and win the seed money is the reason I'm in my new office now. It fueled everything, the move, the expenses, the upgrades, website, everything has been a benefit from that HOCO Hire program. We aspire to be a county where our residents are safe and feel safe. That would not be possible without investment in our public safety, ensuring that our police department, our fire and rescue services have the staff, resources, and facilities necessary to support our community. Body-worn cameras, check. More personnel, check. Promotions, opportunities, check. So I believe as an agency, we're able to tackle the tenets of the 21st century policing model, continue to progress our agency forward. County Executive Calvin Ball has just been a remarkable leader. He's been an incredible support system to the small businesses, um, not just on Main Street in Ellicott City, but all over um, our incredible county. And he's just been someone that we can count on. Calvin Ball has been integral in the building of the third, and we are a nonprofit supporting women of color entrepreneurs, providing a service that has not been provided to people in the county before. He recognized the need and he has supported it with his presence, um, with allocations of funds, and really the the most important part has been his presence, his ability to come in and interact with members, learn about their businesses. I see that no matter how big you are or how high you are in power, you still not, you're not too big to do the little things. And that's what Dr. Ball has, been, has shown me, is that you can never be too big to do the little things. He always even sends me a message on Mother's Day and says, Happy Mother's Day. Well, I'm a very proud Latina, um, and I was born and raised here in Maryland. And what I appreciate about Calvin's vision is the fact that it's inclusive, that cultural competency is very important, is how his departments also relate to the different communities, how we speak to one another, how we engage with one another. It's very different to engage with the Hispanic community as you would with the Muslim community or you would with an Asian community. And having people who understand that and know exactly how to speak the language, and when I mean language, it's not about translating, it's about culturally understanding the differences. He took us through a really tough time, really, really well. 
He took us through COVID well. We were one of the top counties in the state, in the nation for dealing with COVID and our numbers were always at a manageable level. We were, there was a lot of communication and a lot of resources. And now with this, with that off of his plate, I can see him looking towards the future. And that's what's needed in this county. We need to have leaders who are looking at innovative and interesting ways to tackle the challenges that we face head on. And I believe that Calvin is doing that.